Okay, uh, let's start this session. In this session, I'm going to explain you that how you can record uh, your audio signal using laptops inbuilt microphone in single channel as well as in two channel. We can use the external microphone also. And then I will show you that how you can uh, read uh, an audio file uh, which is lying on the hard disk of your computer and how you can write uh, that audio file into the another format. That means you can do the uh, format conversion here. And uh, after that, I will show you that uh, how you can record audio from external music players such as mobile phone, which is uh, connected to your laptop uh, using audio cable. So uh, before uh, going uh, ahead, uh, I advise you to uh, watch my previous uh, video. Uh, in this video also, I have explained all these things, but instead of uh, assembling, I have explained all these things using MATLAB commands. So let's start our first model. So this is the first model uh, by which you can uh, record your voice using laptops in built microphone. Uh, this uh, uh, audio device reader block you can find in uh, audio system toolbox while this uh, time scope and uh, two workspace block you can find from DSP system toolbox. So here time scope is used to uh, see in real time that uh, what is happening uh, in the time domain and that how your voice is looking uh, in a graph view and uh, to workspace block that means the Y out block is used to uh, capture all your uh, audio samples uh, in a variable named Y out uh, in the MATLAB workspace. So let me try this uh, model uh, in MATLAB. So for this, let me jump to the MATLAB. Uh, first of all, I will uh, open the symbolink. So you can open the symbolink by this pressing this button. So the symbolink is open. Now you can uh, create a blank model first by pressing this button. So this blank model is created. And uh, then to uh, build the model, uh, just go to the library browser. So by clicking this button, this uh, red and blue button, uh, you get a library browser. So go to the audio system toolbox and then source. So you can find this device uh, audio device reader. Simply right click and then press this uh, add block to model untitled. Okay, so uh, it is added to your file and then go to the DSP system toolbox and select uh, uh, sync. Uh, here you, you will get the time scope. Click it and then add it to the model and then Y out to workspace, click, right click and add to your model. Minimize it. So here you can see all the models are here and simply connect them. Connection is very easy. Uh, we can connect this time scope. Okay, it is not connected. Let me delete it retry yeah time scope is connected so your model is ready uh, to be simulated uh, but uh, uh, one thing uh, you have to select the uh, audio capturing device uh, there may be uh, more than one microphone uh, attached to your uh, laptop so you have to uh, carefully uh, <coughs> select uh, the right one so double click this uh, uh, block you will get this uh, dialog box so here uh, you can see that device uh, instead of default uh, you select that uh, which microphone you want to use for example uh, that this mic microphone mono elf pro it is the external usb microphone which is connected uh, to my laptop so you can use that or uh, this microphone real tech high definition audio uh, this is my laptop default microphone so i'm going to use it here you can define the sampling rate right now i'm using 44.1 kilohertz and then number of channels so obviously it is one right now in advanced tab you can find uh, you can define the number of bits per samples so here i'm using 16 bit per samples so let me okay it and then uh, uh, I want to record the audio for let's say five seconds. So I will write five seconds simulation time here and then let me open this uh, time scope first. Uh, the time scope is open now. 
and uh, I can run the simulation from the time scope. So uh, pressing this uh, green button, uh, which is the run button, I can start my simulation. So I am starting it. Hello, hello, this is channel one. Hello, this is channel one. Hello, hello. Okay, so this is uh, what I have recorded uh, uh, using my laptop default microphone. So let me uh, see what happens in the MATLAB workspace. So you can see that Y out variable is created uh, with single column. That means uh, this. That means uh, only a single channel recording is done here. So I can uh, plot this data from this command window also. So simply executing this plot command, I will get the same uh, wave shape here, which I got in the time scope. And uh, I can also play it using the sound command. So simply executing sound command, but uh, executing sound command, be careful uh, that you have to define the sampling rate and that sampling rate must be the same as uh, which we have used using the recording. So at the recording time, we have used 44.1 kilohertz. So the same is uh, written here. Hello, hello, this is channel one. Hello, this is channel one. Hello, hello. Okay, so this is uh, what we have uh, recorded in single channel. So now I will show you that uh, how uh, we can record in the uh, double channel. So simply uh, double click it and uh, number of channels increase uh, two and press it. Okay, so it is ready. Uh, uh, and then uh, press uh, this uh, uh, run button now hello hello this is two channel recording hello this is two channel recording hello okay so this is done this is the two channel recording uh, which we obtained and let me see uh, what is happening in the workspace so in the MATLAB workspace you can find that y out variable has now the two columns so two columns means representing uh, the double channel recording so I can uh, plot it so this is plotted two channels and since it uh, uh, this is two channel I can separate them so let me separate the channel one so this is channel one is separated and then channel two so here in the workspace you can see the channel one and channel two both are separated so you can pl plot any one of these for example let's say plot ch1 so channel one is plotted in the same manner you can plot channel two or both simultaneously and you can listen them also using sound command so uh, uh, now i will explain uh, you that how you can uh, read uh, the audio file uh, which is lying on your computer uh, any let's say some mp3 file you want to read so you can read it uh, using this model and uh, uh, this uh, from multimedia file this block you can find from the DSP uh, system toolbox it is also available in the audio system toolbox and uh, all these uh, blocks you can find from DSP system toolbox so time scope we have already used uh, Y out uh, we have already used these two are new uh, the audio device writer this block actually will play your song through your laptops speakers so when you read uh, some mp3 file uh, at the same time uh, uh, you can play uh, via the laptop speakers and this block sorry and 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 this block uh, two multimedia file so this block will uh, write your audio file uh, into your desired file format for example in this case i am uh, reading mp3 file and i am converting and i am writing this into the mp4 format so uh, interconversion is also supported by the matlab so let me try this uh, in matlab so this uh, model i have already uh, made to save the time so this is the model and uh, uh, to select uh, which file you want to read uh, simply double click this uh, from multimedia file block uh, double click it and here you can find, uh, find that uh, file name is 
uh, here and uh, there is a browse button simply browse it and you can uh, select any uh, mp3 file or or uh, matlab supported audio file so here uh, i select the my song dot uh, mp3 file so i have selected it uh, it's a file uh, which is uh, of stereo type that means it has the two channel recording and it is sampled at 44.1 kilohertz so uh, in the time scope i will see uh, the reading uh, uh, what is happening in the time domain and y out will capture uh, uh, all the samples in workspace uh, this will play uh, the audio device writer block will play your file via speakers and this block will uh, simultaneously write your file into the mp4 format so uh, let me uh, read this file so uh, here uh, i i will uh, read this for 10 seconds so i have already uh, define 10 seconds here and let me uh, press this play button okay uh, this uh, uh, you can uh, you could hear the sound uh, of playback and this is the waveform uh, which i uh, achieved uh, during the recording and let me see uh, what is uh, happened in the workspace so in the workspace uh, uh, see the y out variable here uh, i got the number of samples in two columns that means it's a double channel recording and uh, let me see the directory uh, whether uh, it could write that uh, file or not uh, this was my model so uh, there should be a file by the name my song out dot m4a so let me see my directory uh, this is my directory current and yes uh, my song out file is there uh, which matlab has written and let me uh, play it okay uh, this is the file uh, mp4 file uh, which matlab has written or converted my mp3 file into mp4 uh, uh, let's see uh, uh, in uh, matlab workspace uh, i can uh, plot this y out command uh, this sorry y out variable using plot command so this is my recording two channel recording you can easily see one in blue and one in orange and uh, you can separate the channel also again the channel one and then channel two we can separate so we can plot any uh, one of these channel for example this channel one is plotted here and i can uh, listen this channel one only so for this uh, i will execute the sound command sound command ch1 channel one and with the specified uh, sampling rate so let's see what happens uh, here i am going to listen only the channel one instead of both simultaneously so let's see okay so this is uh, the channel one uh, which uh, i have played right now uh, now I will uh, show you that uh, how we can uh, record uh, audio using uh, some external device. For example, in this figure, you can see that my mobile phone is connected to my laptop and one song is being played on this mobile phone and I want to record it. Instead of a laptop microphone, I am recording uh, via this audio cable. So let's see how this can happen. So this is the model which will do this work. Uh, here again the audio device reader block will be used which is found in audio system toolbox and then time scope and y out block and then uh, uh, file writing that means two multimedia file block so nothing is special nothing is new here only the new thing is uh, that in audio device reader you have to select the line input uh, i advise you to select uh, you can uh, you should connect your mobile phone uh, 
to the line in port of your laptop and select the line in port uh, in this audio device reader uh, this uh, we do because uh, uh, the sound output which the mobile phone is giving is already uh, it is pre amplified so that's why a uh, line in port is used so let me uh, try this uh, in matlab so this model is uh, already uh, built in the matlab i will just try it okay so this is the model so let me uh, uh, double click this audio device reader so when you double click it uh, select the appropriate device so here you can see that this is my usb microphone this is my laptop default microphone and this is the line in so i am selecting line in sampling rate is again 44.1 and number of channels too and rest of the things remain same so let me press ok so my model is ready to uh, capture the audio from external source so before uh, trying this uh, i have to connect my mobile phone uh, to the laptop so let me connect my mobile phone first so uh, my mobile phone is connected so here uh, the system dialog box box asks me to select the port so uh, as i suggested i am selecting the line in so i am selecting line in okay so line in is selected and uh, 10 second of simulation is specified already so let me uh, uh, run this uh, model so time scope i have already opened it so by pressing this uh, green button my simulation will start so uh, first i will uh, start playing song on my mobile phone so i am pressing the ok button here on mobile ok at the same time here so you can see the waveforms are coming here so th these uh, samples are being captured uh, by the matlab okay so the 10 second song is uh, uh, recorded uh, from the external audio player device right so and uh, at the same time uh, to multimedia file uh, it has written uh, a file uh, by the name output.m4a so let me see the directory whether it is written or not uh, yeah uh, this uh, output uh, this song uh, is written and let me see uh, what i have uh, captured so let me play it okay so this uh, uh, is the song which i have uh, recorded and uh, let me see uh, what is happening uh, in the workspace yeah again uh, in y out uh, you, you you have all the samples in two columns that's mean two channel recording is there so you can see uh, by plotting it uh, this is what we have recorded from the external music source and uh, you can separate the channels you channel one channel two and you can plot a uh, channel one so this is the channel one uh, separately plotted and you can listen the channel one also so let me listen the channel one only so this is the channel one only okay so channel one is uh, uh, played here so this is how uh, you can uh, record your audio signals from the external uh, music source uh, at the same time uh, you can capture all the uh, samples in MATLAB workspace and also uh, you can write uh, that file into your uh, laptop's directory. So this is all about this video. Thank you.